Hi, I'm in my studio where I'm getting ready to do some larger pieces. And in that process, I use three resources. First resource I use are uh, field studies or outdoor sketches. And those can range from anything from larger finished pieces to uh, six by eight panels with just a few strokes on them. When I'm collecting uh, outdoor material for larger studio paintings, I generally do 6x8, 8x10 color studies. Uh, they're more versatile. I can do a lot more in one area and combine them with some photography to get, to get what I need for a larger piece. The nice thing about these sketches being 6x8 or 8x10 is that they're too small for detail. And it forces me just to see things in large shapes of dark and light. And I can focus on the four planes of a landscape, the sky plane, the flat plane and the upright plane and slanted planes and just do a simple dark and light of each of those planes and that gives me enough information for a, for a larger studio piece. This piece is roughly a 6 by 8 done uh, in the Santa Catalina Mountains. In my process when I'm outside gathering yeah, material is to spend most of the day there. I do two or three in the morning where the light's low and fairly dramatic, and then in the afternoon, uh, when the light's down on the other side, everything has a total different color and feel to it. And in between there and along that the same time, I'm, I'm, I'm taking a lot of photographs, and I can combine the field study with the photographs and come up with, a, with my own composition. The second resource I use is thumbnail sketches. Usually after doing the uh, plain air sketches, I'll bring them in. In this case, this is the Catalina Mountain sketch I'm using here. Uh, and I'll put them in different sizes of thumbnail sketches. The one on the left here is in a square format to where I'm bunching things up, focusing in on a center of interest, and just trying to put down the simple darks and light shapes in there to get a feel of how that would look on a square, square format. The one on a horizontal format where I'm pulling things out Again, keeping things simple, just the basic large dark and light shapes to see how the composition is going to work in that longer uh, rectangle format. The one I ended up using was uh, a little bit in between the two. It's not square, but not quite horizontal, and it seemed to fit that composition best. And also worked in the idea of a figure, where to put it. And it might take another two or three thumbnail sketches to move that figure around. So it, you know, it can take anywhere from three to four to 10, 15 thumbnail sketches to come up with the idea that, that I think might work. Then the third resource I use is photography. And in this case, for the figure that I'm going to add to this landscape is uh, from some reference photos I have from, in this case, a roundup, some figures on horses. And generally, I'll, I'll use black and white, at least in this drawing stage, to get a feel for just a simple gesture of the figure instead of worrying about color. Uh, the four color process of photography can be a little bit, um, a little bit flat, and I, I like to trust my own color sense there for the most part. Uh, the other resource is some older f uh, photographs, four by sixes. Um, yeah, just a variety of poses and shapes that I use just like the color sketches. I just use the basic shapes of what the photograph gives me. The other alternative to the photographs is uh, sketchbooks I keep for figures. In this case, this was a trip to Mexico. And uh, the drawing, just take the shape of basic gesture, to get a basic idea of the dark and light the action of the figure, and usually that's enough for a painting. And it forces me to, to use my own resources instead of just copying from a photograph. It's very good practice also, it trains your eye to be a lot more observant. So the sketchbooks are large parts of coming up with an idea of what the studio painting is going to be. Again, using the color sketches and the photographs and drawings I spend a lot more time on the, these thumbnails, in this case a larger one, I'm just trying to work out these big shapes almost abstractly to see where they're going to fit and what shape of uh, canvas will work best. 
it's not a matter of, of tight drawing or detailed drawing. It's a matter of seeing, again, those large planes, what value they are, and how to place them together to give you the best uh, composition.